Hello my viewers and welcome to this exciting lesson in Revit. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you on how you can reinforce a round column. As you can see, we have the ribbon within the round column there and that is what you're going to learn in this tutorial. Okay, so now I just want to ask you that please don't just watch my videos. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, you do well to subscribe to my channel and also, you know, like my videos, okay? And more importantly, make sure that you turn on the bell notification because I upload some new videos each and every week so that once I upload, you'll be notified that I uploaded a new video and you'll be the first one to know of the great content that I'll be posting, okay? So without wasting time, let's get started in this tutorial. Now, before I proceed, I just want to mention to anyone who is interested in learning Revit architecture, Revit structure, robot structure analysis, and some other, you know, uh, good softwares, please make sure that you check the links in the description. There are some good courses of which if you checked it out, you might be interested in. Okay, so let's get started in this tutorial. As you can see, and as I've mentioned, we, we are going to create the ribbon in the round column. So I'll just go to this other column where I'll be creating the ribbon. Okay, so what I need to do is to first of all select the column where I want to place the ribbon, then click on ribbon. Once you do that, just go to freeform and click on aligned, then I'll select the column. Okay, then under the workshop instructions, I just want to change to bend and under the style, I just want to pick the stirrup, okay? Then under the layout there, I want to use maximum spacing and maintain the 150, okay? It is on aligned, then I'll click on path and once I click on path, I'll just pick the vertical path and click on finish and as you can see, we have the stirrup right there okay so now let's create you know the vertical bars within here the longitudinal what i'll do again i'll select on the column i'll click on the ribbon right there make sure that free form and aligned is selected then i'll select that column and to make sure that all both parts are selected then i'll go there and just check okay i'll just maintain you know the settings by default from there, I'll just change the fixed number and I just want to have about six bars from here. Then I'll click on path and I'm just going to select that one and that one as the path at the bottom and click the green check mark. As you can see, we have the ribbon within the round column. Now you can see that the ribbon is, you know, colliding with the, the, the this ribbon, the Bitcoins colliding with the stirrups there. So I'll simply select on the in the longitudinal bar and what i'm going to do is go to propagate once you do that just make sure that you okay i'm sorry not propagate what you want to do is to, to first of all go to the bar there and click on edit constraints sorry for that we want to you know to to remove the the collision there so once you do that just go to this one where it's zero and Make sure that you can just move it in by adding a negative and I just want to use eight. Click outside to see that it moves in. Click the green check mark. As you can see, the collisions are no longer there. Okay, so now what I'll do, I'll also create the ribbon there. If I want, I can propagate, but I'll simply do it once again so that you can follow. Once again, click on ribbon, freeform, aligned, then select that one and that one there. Okay, make sure that free form aligned is selected, then select the column there. Make sure that the column is selected, then I want to change it to bend, then I want to change it to stir up, as you can see from there. And I want to have maximum spacing, okay, maximum spacing of 150, as you can see from there. Once you do that, make sure that you pick the the bar that you want to use, that one is okay. Then click on path. Then I'll just pick the vertical path. Then click on finish. As you can see, we have the stirrups right there. Okay, so again, just cancel that one. I'll select the column from there. Make sure that the column is selected. Then click on ribbon, as you can see. Then make sure that free form aligned also is selected. Then select the column, make sure that the column is selected. Then you just want to maintain that the way it is. 
Then from here, I just want to have a fixed number. Again, I want to have six bars. Once you do that, just go to path and then just pick the bottom path, just like that. Okay, then click on the green check mark. As you can see, I have the ribber within there. And once again, I can select on the ribber. Actually, if I want to change it to Y to 16M, I can do that. Let me also change the other one to 16M. Just select there and select 16M as you can see. So again, I just need to, you know, to avoid that collision by going to edit constraints. Then there, I'll just use negative eight, click inside, you see, like that. Then click on the green check mark, you see that you have the ribbon. Now here, I just want to, you know, to have like some, the, the, the ribbon here to extend upwards there. So I'll select the ribbon there, then click on edit constraints. Then what I want to do is to select, just want to select the the top face of the beam tab. I'm sure I'm selecting the top face. Once I click there, see that it's going to move up. If I want, I can leave it there. Let me just click on the green check mark. There's something that I need to adjust. Select on the ribbon, then edit constraints. Let me select that one there, the top one. Then let me, for example, have 500 up there. Okay, that one is going that direction. I'll just undo. Okay, let me just undo this one and make sure that they have the default rebus the way it was. Select on it, then edit constraints. Then what I'll need to do is to select the top face of that rebus and that face on top, tab, tab, select on that. As you can see now, it's perfect. Then I can change this one to 500, click inside. As you can see, it's going to, to be up, you know, to go up by 500 from the top of the slab, just like that. This is what I want. Then I'll click on the green check mark, click outside, and you see that you have those bars, as you can see from here. Okay, now if I want, I can add the hooks on top there. I'll select on that bar. And we have the hook at start and hook at end. Let me change the hook at end maybe to 90. Okay, as you can see, I can have changed the collision if I want, but I will leave it. Then down here, instead of following the same procedure, I will just select that one there. And I just want to propagate the river by selecting like that. Then I'll select that column there. Click on the green check mark. As you can see, I have the ribbon on this column so guys this is how you are able to reinforce around column so please make sure that you like my videos and stay on this channel